Hi everybody, welcome to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. We're gonna start our daily stretch today. We're gonna start in a sitting position. It's super important that we have the back straight. So if you feel that you cannot straight your back and your back is curving or your knees are too high and it's very difficult to take the sitting position, maybe it's better to wait until we feel really comfortable in this position. Make sure that your back is straight. You can elevate a little bit your hips sitting on a block or cushions and that will help you to maintain your spine straight. But it's really important that we are able to keep our back straight. Now we're gonna cross the right leg at the front. Here we have many ways to put our feet. It depends how comfortable we feel with the feet and with the knees. So one, we can be our feet really under our lower leg. Other one can be one foot at the front of the other one. Or if you feel more comfortable, it's kind of knocking, it's kind of bringing your foot in between your calf muscle and your thigh. And that is another comfy position. So whatever position of your feet is, is more comfortable for you. So let's start. We're going to start with the spine release, which is going to be cat and cow, but in a sitting position. So bring our hands onto our knees. We're going to inhale as we tilt the pelvis backwards, curving the spine all the way until the neck. So we bring chin and chest. Now exhale. We move our hips forward and we straight our back. And uh, slowly we lift our chest up to slightly arch our back and again inhale bring your head down chin and chest curl the spine by tilting the pelvis backwards and exhale move your hips forward to straight your back lift the chest gently going to back bend and again back into center tilt the pelvis curve the spine and exhale, straight the back, and we follow the movement all the way until your chest. And one more time. You can keep your mudra position in your fingers just to keep more the concentration in your energy and what you are doing. So let's go again, curving the spine, chin and chest. Move your pelvis forward, lift your tummy and chest come up. And just one more. Inhale till backwards, curving the spine. And exhale, straight your back. Back into neutral, bring your hands at the back of the head, one at the, at the front of the other one. Elbows in, just the head go down, chin and chest. We feel the stretch in the neck. We hold for four breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale. Feel the release in the neck. Two. Keep your tummy in. And just one more. Put your head up. Open your elbows. Release your arms. Good. Now from here, we're just going to go sideways, so we just lean onto the side, arm go above the head, palm facing down, make sure that the other hand is aligned with your hip, and if you bring your elbow down, this is well beside your hip, your palm facing down, two sit bones on the floor, we look towards to the ceiling, we hold here for four, exhale, deep, you can close your eyes and really concentrate how is your body, let's go for three, two and just one more and get your tummy and we come all the way let's go on to the other side you don't have to bring the elbow down even if it's just tiny make sure that you don't force and the other thing you don't curve the spine backwards just just go sideways and we hold for four And three, palm facing down. A little bit can you want to bring your chest towards the ceiling. Just one more, inhale. Exhale. We come all the way. And this time we go forward bend. 
inhale and we go all the way forward. As far as we can go, if we cannot go all the way down, as far as you can go, just again with the sensation to stretch you back, to hinge you. And more than push yourself towards to the legs, have the sensation to pull the legs towards to you. We hold here for four. Three. Two. And just one more. Raise your torso. Come all the way up. Arms come up. Fantastic. We release and we're going to twist towards to the right. That's why it's important your back is straight. Because when we twist, it's important that we don't twist with the back curving. It can be contraindicated for your back. doesn't give us benefits. So straight your back. You use your right hand at the back to twist. And you can use the other hand just beside your thigh or your knee. We twist from the waist. We watch backwards from above the right shoulder. We hold here for four. Three. Two. And just one more. Back to center. We go on to the other side. Twist from your waist. Relax your shoulders. Keep your back straight. We hold for four breaths. Inhale, exhale, let's go for three, feel the spine all the way until the neck, only one more, and back to center, we bring the knees together, bring your feet onto the ground, I really need that you keep same with hips, knees, and feet. And have the sensation that you want to stand up. So press with your feet on the ground like you want to stand up. Interlace your fingers, arms come up, push your palms away. And I need you push the ground with your feet like you want to stand up and engage your tummy. We hold here for four. Three. You always can close your eyes, concentrate your whole body, scan your whole body from toes to head. Two. And just one more. We release the hands under, arms under the knees, and we're just going to rest the chest onto the thighs. Let the head drop down. And we try to use more our feet. Again, push your feet against the ground like you want to stand up. And the sensation to pull the knees close to you. We hold for four. Three. Two. And just one more. Relax your shoulder. We raise our head, release our legs, and we're just gonna cross now. This time is the left leg at the front. Remember, you can bring one foot at the front of the other one, feet under your lower leg, or you can kind of cross and kind of hook your feet between your. Just place your foot between your thighs and your calf muscle, and you can do it as well in the other one if you feel comfy. It's not just at the top. Straight your back, hands on your knees, mudra position, and we just go inhale till the pelvis backwards, chin and chest. Exhale, move your pelvis forward and lift your chest and arch in our back. And again, inhale till, feel the curving of the spine all the way until the neck, chin and chest. Exhale, move your hips forward, shoulders above your hips, and lift the chest. And let's go for two. Inhale. And exhale. Raise your chest. 
elongate the spine. And just one more. Inhale, feel really nice sensation. And exhale, move your pelvis forward, relax your shoulders, lift your chest. Back onto the starting pose. Hands go at the back of the head, elbows in, only the head down. And we hold here for four, three, two, and just one more. Lift the head, release the arms, bring them down, and we just go on to the left side. Again, your hand always align with your hip and your elbow as well. Even if they are a little bit far to give you room, but try to don't bring them backwards so the torso don't twist. Engage your tummy, extend your spine sideways, no backwards. Look towards the ceiling. You don't have to bring your elbow down. You can bring a little bit higher. And we hold here for four. Three, two, and just one more. Come all the way up, and we're just gonna go on to the other side. Again, we don't have to go all the way down. Maintain both sit bones on the ground, palm facing down. Twist from your waist, face towards the ceiling. We hold for four. Three. Two. And just one more. And engage our tummy, come all the way. We go forward bend as far as we can go. Even if it's just tiny, it's okay. We can bring the elbows down. Or if we feel comfortable, all the way extending our arms forward. We hold it here for four. Three. Two. Just one more. And we raise our torso all the way. And we twist towards to the left side, one hand on our knee and the other one at the back. Lift your chest, completely twist, maintain your spine straight. Let the neck as well twist so you just watch from above the right, left shoulder. And we hold here for four. And three, two, and just one more. Back to center, we go on to the other side, and get your tummy, lift your chest, and then we hold for four. And really concentrate your body. Three, two, and just one more. Back to center. Bring your knees together. Again, feet on the ground. Arms come up, make sure that you keep the same with hips, knees and feet. Press with your feet all the time. Interlace your fingers, palms facing up. Imagine you want to stand up. We hold here for four. Straight your back at the maximum. Three. Two. And just one more. 
and release, bring our hands under the thighs and we just let the chest drop down with the sensation again to press, of pressing the feet down that you want to kind of stand up so it helps us to hinge without stressing too much the shoulders. We hold here for four. And three. Two. And just one more. And bring your head up and release. Well done, everybody. Thank you to join us. And hopefully you like it. See you in the next one. Namaste.